This is day three of our trip. We've got to go to the Creation Museum and to the Ark Encounter. We love going to both of those, but now we're just going to get out, ride around, see what we can find, and we are headed to Paris. Hi, I'm Wayne. And I'm Norma from Our Vacationer. Follow us as we travel in our motorhome in Jeep Cherokee. Subscribe and click the notification bell. We just had to stop the vehicle. We sort of got to jerking around and Wayne said that's the death wobble. We've never done that before, but he hit a, a big bump so it uh, Turn right on Rogers went Gap nuts Road. on us. So we're going slow now. We're fixing to turn into the campground. In one half mile, arrive at 257 Rogers Gap Road on the right. Here's the RV resort that we're staying at. Very high ratings on RV Parky and Google reviews. So it looks like a nice place. We'll let you know when we get checked in. Arriving at 257 Rogers Gap Road on the right. Whispering Hills is a good Sam's member and we use that to save 10% on the fee. We got 230 sites with water electric sewer. About a third of them appeared to be pull throughs. They're all big big rig friendly but we chose for a uh, back end site just so we'd be next to the lake. Uh, we enjoyed the sunrise on the lake and the uh, ducks and geese that would come in and take off. We enjoy watching that. They've got a pool, a basketball court. They're pet friendly. They got a laundromat. They do have a guest Wi-Fi but it kept dropping as if they were prioritizing traffic so if you were streaming or trying to do anything that used a lot of data your connection would drop and that may not be the reason the connection was dropping it's just what I felt like it was uh, but we got by with it we got what we needed out of it uh, it was just not a constant good connection but when it was connected it was a good connection uh, they do have propane on site they got bath, bath houses and a playground for the kids they got 20 30 and 50 amp hookups but we enjoyed our stay there and it was convenient to all the uh, places that we wanted to go visit we've decided to head to paris today well paris kentucky but look what we found on the side here a castle the castle was built in 1969 and they've turned it into a hotel, a spa, a restaurant, and an event center now. The best part of headed to Paris is the horse farms and beautiful homes, the rolling hills. It's just immaculate how they've got it set up. Beautiful horses on the side of the roads. We love the rock walls that were there. We finally made it to Paris and yes, they have an Eiffel Tower so we had to get our picture taken with it. Not hardly as large as the one in Paris, but it was still neat. We went to a little farmer's market while we were in Paris. Bought some nice little treats to take back to the camper with us and had just had a wonderful day. For the three days that we had staying in Kentucky, we saw the Creation Museum on Monday and the Ark Encounter on Tuesday. Just drove around and saw the sights on Wednesday. We enjoyed our drive around the town, Paris. Of the two major events, the Creation Museum and, and the Ark Encounter, I would say you need to see both of those. But if you can only see one, if you're passing through and only have one day, I think Norma and I agreed that it was the Ark that left the biggest impression just because of the magnitude of how big that thing was. And then on our drive home, uh, everything went smooth like you hope it will until we got into Alabama. We stopped after about six hours of drive time. We stopped at a restaurant that had a big enough pull-off for the motorhome. 
and I had the bright idea to check on the brakes and to crank the Jeep so that I could make sure the battery wasn't being drained or anything was going wrong so I stuck my foot in the car and we've got a brake buddy and the floorboard that grabs a hold of the brake pedal and you have to mash the brakes to crank the Jeep so I mashed the brakes and crank the Jeep let it run three or four minutes everything looked good turned the Jeep off we went in and ate and when we leave we always check the signal lights and the brake lights when we got home our Jeep was boiling in smoke so I raised the hood as quick as I could but obviously it was still attached to the motor home what we had done is burned up our brakes so it cost six hundred and fifty dollars to get new calipers, rotors, brake shoes. We had to replace the brake fluid because it had been boiled. We were very lucky that the Jeep didn't catch on fire. Apparently what happened when I used my foot to press the brake down and did not recalibrate the brake buddy, it left the brake pressed. Basically the wheels were turning before we left but the brakes were mildly pressed. That did a lot of damage to the Jeep and cost a lot of money to get that fixed. So learn from our mistakes and we'll see you in the next video thanks Hi friends thank you for joining us on this video if you would if you have not already we need a real big favor not like a kidney or a lung or anything just a real big favor hit that subscribe button right down there that red one right in there and when you hit that you'll see a little bell click on the bell so you get notified of all our future videos and give us a thumbs up we would appreciate it very very much thank you have a great day see you in the next video